in Texas, they're still talking about the little rabbit that had come down from the United States to wipe out the whole state of Texas. Obviously, the rabbit must have been Crusader Rabbit. Or who else would have thought of such a wonderful idea? Now, Crusader Rabbit had big, big ideals, as you can see. And when he wasn't out on a crusade, he was reading about other bold and fearless men. Sir Galahad rescued the fair maiden from the wicked dragon. And they lived happily ever after. He was probably the smallest rabbit you ever did see. And unfortunately, he wasn't endowed with any of the unusual abilities that feature most crusaders. Oh, yeah? Well, could he stop a train in full flight with a touch of his hand? Uh, no. Could he fly through the air with the greatest of ease? No. Did he have x-ray vision? No. As a matter of fact, he was rather nearsighted. Is it... Is it X-G-R-S-T-U-V? The only thing Crusader could do when faced with a crisis was to run. Not a very helpful trait for a Crusader, perhaps, but you'll have to admit he developed it to the highest degree. Well, all this didn't stop Crusader from having big ideals. He saw himself as sort of a knight in shining armor, and he was always trying to help out other people, other causes, like the time he tried to make everyday Christmas by nominating Santa Claus for president. Well, to get on with the story, one day Crusader Rabbit was listening to the radio when he heard... And a good, good evening, Mr. and Mrs. North America. Let's go to press. Flash. I just received word that the Texans are chasing all of the jackrabbits out of Texas. Jumping grasshoppers, you should have seen Crusader Rabbit. He was off with a flash, heading for Texas to battle the Texans and protect his cousins, all named Jack. When all of a sudden, he realized... Golly, I might need some help. He knew he could handle the Texans. They were all singers, but he was worried about their horses. Well, as luck would have it, he was right by a circus at the time. So I went in to find someone who could help him. No, I'd never be able to talk to him. No, we'll be using swords, not swallowing them. Then his eye spotted another banner, and he heard the most ferocious sounding roars. <laughs> that tiger must really be a monster. <laughs> this has been a transcribed program. Crusader Rabbit knew he'd found the one to help, so he planned the escape. Tiger, Tiger, it is I, Crusader Rabbit. The Texans are chasing my cousins, the Jackrabbits, out of Texas. Here yeah, they are. And you've got to help me, Tiger. Will you come with me to battle the Texans? Yeah, I'll do it. And so, having persuaded the Tiger to join his forces, Crusader Rabbit and his newly found friend were off to Texas to battle the Texans.